What's going on guys? It's your boy DJ Scanless here and we're back with some all new hip hop news and some news related about Tupac. Former death row boss Marion Suge Knight and his $107 million judgment lawsuit has just been voided. We're going to talk about all this from the blast.com and we're going to talk about maybe some repercussions or the aftermath that might be affected by this. And this article reads, a $107 million judgment against Marion Suge Knight and death row records which was awarded back in 2005 has been voided by the judge. In a shocking turn of events, a judge just voided a massive payout after a woman named Liddy Harris filed a motion in the case citing issues with the legality over how her lawyers actually won a massive case against Suge Knight and Death Row Records. Harris along with her husband helped bankroll Death Row when a West Coast record label was first launching. Harris's attorney, Dermot Givens, explained that the motion to void a judgment contained allegations that her attorneys, the bankruptcy trustee, and even the judges conspired to use her wrongfully obtained a judgment that ultimately ruined Suge Knight and bankrupt Death Row Records. In the documents obtained by the blast, Harris shows that she filed for bankruptcy before filing a lawsuit against Death Row and Suge Knight. The issue with this fact is that it would give her no legal standing to sue anyone. Any legal calls would have to go through the trustee of the bankruptcy. At this time, she claims her lawyers convinced her to lie about the bankruptcy so they were able to collect the monumental judgment. Lydia's legal team claimed that she was duped by the group and also to ignore the bankruptcy and told to proceed against Death Row. Suge Knight and Harris are in direct communication, have compared notes, and realize they are now on the same side. Given says that the two are in private settlement conversations, but Harris has not received one dime from her lawyers who collected the part of a huge payout. That's so crazy, a $107 million lawsuit and she hasn't received one dime or one penny? Where's the money going? Harris and her legal team are now calling for an investigation into what she calls one of the largest scandals in California's legal community. Given says complaints will be sent to California State Bar and the FBI. We're told Suge is aware of this monumental moment and will be making a statement from prison on the subject. The lawyers who represented Harris have filed legal documents to have the decision reconsidered. They claim in their filing they did not tell Harris to lie about anything during the case. The $107 million judgment came after Lydia Harris and her then-husband Michael Harry O, Sue Suge Knight, and Death Row claiming they were the ones who provided 1.5 million seed money to start the label. Harry O, a cocaine kingpin doing 28 years for a conspiracy to commit murder and drug trafficking, also had an impressive and diverse track record as a legitimate businessman. Unable to pay the $107 million, Death Row and Suge Knight filed for bankruptcy in April 2006. Later that year, a federal judge ordered a bankruptcy trustee takeover of Death Row Records, resulting in a fire sale of the record label and all of his property. I don't know how to feel about this, we just gotta see how it plays out. As you may know, Death Row Records was eventually bought out by Wide Awake. Wide Awake was then bought out by Entertainment One, which was Koch Records, and that actually got bought out by Hasbro, the toy company. Now when Hasbro bought it, they probably didn't even care or even know that Death Row Records was a part of the agreement. But now since they own it, they're definitely going to receive royalties from Snoop Dogg, Dr. Dre, Tupac, and everything else, all the soundtracks and stuff like that. And I believe they can release new versions of albums they already released in the past. I'm not too sure if they can release any new Tupac songs because in a previous lawsuit from 2016, Entertainment One had to hand over all unreleased Death Row recordings to the estate, which is now owned by Tom Wally. But like I said, they still own Machiavelli, All Eyes On Me, The Soundtrack Songs, Above The Rim, Doggy Style, The Chronic, Death Row Greatest Heads. But any new Tupac stuff, they probably have to go through Universal or the Tupac estate to get anything released. If I was Suge Knight Jr., Suge Knight's son, I'll be on my way to jail right now to talk to my pops about this because he has everything to gain from this. There has to be some legal standing there or something they could do. Because this whole lawsuit is what caused Death Row Records to go bankrupt in the first place. If this lawsuit would never had all this corruption and all this bullshit in it, he probably will still own it today, or someone in the Suge Knight family would own it, such as Suge Knight Jr. Now I'm not too sure if Suge Knight Jr. or Suge Knight will be able to win rights back from Death Row Records from Hasbro, but maybe they could potentially win out big time here if they sue the lawyers and everyone else that was involved in this whole scandal. And actually I would prefer if it went back to Suge Knight Jr or Shug, because we don't know what Hasbro is going to do with the catalog, a toy company, it's all up in the air. I would rather have it be with somebody that understands music, a family that understands music. And you know, everyone can, you know, diss Shug Knight all they want and call him the boogeyman, call him a gangster or the kingpin, you know, just because he put vanilla ice over a balcony and held him upside down with one hand, or he was in the car when Tupac got shot, come on now. If Suge Knight had Tupac murdered, I don't think he would be right next to him and potentially almost get killed himself. And the reason he's in jail is because he ran over somebody. But you know, if I had somebody coming up to my window trying to break in or trying to hit me or do something, what's the first reaction to get out of that scenario? You either reverse or you go forward. You just don't stay there. In other news, 
Chuck Knight Jr. actually commented on this on his Instagram. He posted the whole Yahoo Entertainment article and the caption that he typed up was, Big Shug is owed a lot and we should start with his freedom. Free Shug, Cluminati. So what do you guys think? Do you think Suge Knight should be released? Do you think Suge Knight and Suge Knight Jr. should get rights back to death row? Would you like to see that? Like I said, I'm not too sure if they will be able to release any new music, but maybe they can partner with the estate or Universal or whatever to get new Tupac stuff out there. Or maybe get anniversary versions of Machiavelli and No Lies On Me. Let me know guys what you think. This is TJ Scanlon signing out. Peace out.